<laughs> Have you ever felt like negative things are happening to you and you can't do anything about it? You might feel like you're always blaming yourself. This happened, that happened, and you think that by you being truthful, by you saying these negative things and speaking about them and telling yourself the story that, you know, this happened and you, you see there's a negative spin, this negativity in your life. Okay, how do you break out of that? Let me help. I read this book called Learned Optimism and in this series, I'm going to be talking to you about a few different ideas in the book. The first idea I want to tell you about is really important and this is about how do you break out of negativity and become optimistic. This whole book is about how do you become optimistic scientifically based on research. Let me tell you the big idea. The big idea of this book, the first major idea that can change your life is that human beings, it's been proven that human beings can be taught helplessness. They can act helpless without even knowing about it. When I say that human beings can be helpless, don't think I'm talking about a homeless person or someone who's bedridden. I'm talking about a normal, quote unquote, normal person who's just living their life, working everyday jobs or whatever. They could be taught and act helpless. So so what does that mean? Listen to this research that Seligman did. They took three groups of dogs and one group they taught them, they put them basically in an area and they did these light shocks. They gave these dogs these, these light jolts. They taught them that they could turn off these shocks by hitting something with their nose. So they would shock them and they would teach them they could you know stop this shock if they hit this, this button with their nose and the shock would stop. So they were teaching them that they had some mastery. They took a second group of dogs and and they would shock them and they would not teach them how they can stop the shock. There was no way to stop the shock. So they're trying to teach them helplessness. They're trying to teach them that nothing you do could stop this shock. Then they took these dogs into the second part of the experiment where the real thing was going to happen. By the way, they had a control group where they did nothing for comparison purposes. So they took these dogs. Now the real experiment began. All of these dogs, they put them in this thing called a shuttle box where they just, just an area, an open area with a little barrier that they can jump over, easily jump over and get out. They taught all dogs how to jump out of this over the barrier and escape and run away. They took the first group and they started shocking them to see what was gonna happen. The first group that they taught them initially how to get out of the shock. So the dogs were trying to were, were trying to figure it out and then suddenly they jumped over the barrier and ran away. The control group where they taught them nothing, like regular old dogs, they put them in this area, they shocked them. Sure enough, what do you think happened? They ran away. The second group of dogs, where initially in the first part of the experiment, they taught them that they just kept shocking them and then nothing they did could change things. In this part of the experiment, even though they knew how to jump over the barrier, when they shocked them, the dogs would just lay down crying, still whimpering. How sad, right? So Seligman proved that basically people, and they did a human version of this experiment, people could become helpless. People could be taught to be helpless if they're put in too many situations where they can't solve the problem, too many failures, or they feel like that you know, some, something happened, right? Something triggered something where they feel like there's no escape, that they could be taught to enact this helplessness even when they know how to get out of it. Even when they actually know how to get out of it, they won't. They're gonna stay still, they're gonna stay stagnant because of that taught helplessness. This concept is called learned helplessness. That's what us human beings could become. Now stay tuned, in some of the, the next videos we're gonna talk about some of the other ideas, like how do you break out of this and where does this all stem from?